Hello everyone, this is Shai again and in this video we are going to be looking at two important parts of the order flow chart. One is the cot and the other is the open interest. Yes, okay, we have the daily developing open interest and the change in open interest updating live on an order flow chart. First, let's look at cot. Okay, the best way to understand cot is that it represents the net buying and selling of an entire bar. So suppose okay you're looking at uh, this 30 minute bar and you don't want to look at all these numbers but you want to quickly understand okay what really happened in this bar whether the buyer was stronger or whether the seller was stronger you look at this particular number represented by the cot the commitment of trade that's what it means and it does tell you okay that this was kind of a flattish bar neither the buyer nor the seller was very dominant over here and the market okay is expected to be flat okay when the buyers and sellers are mostly equal the utility of cot would be in the higher numbers both in green where the buyers are in control or in red when the sellers are in control so if you're looking at let's say a slightly bigger time frame like a 30 minute bar chart which i have right now and uh, say okay the market okay is dipping lower and this is the low point of the day uh, this is uh, where the market put in a low but you quickly scroll down and you can see a positive cot number 1946 and you do not see a representation of this number anywhere else okay on the chart then now okay you know that there is a lot more demand okay coming at the lows of the bar than there could be supply ideally you would have liked to see a red sort red cot over here which would be about the market going down but since okay caught turn green this tells you okay that there was no supply and the market is going up from here and consequently okay the market okay did not hit that level again again okay you want to be looking at caught okay at extremes of a chart let's say okay the market okay is uh, at a, a zone okay which you consider as a supply zone right and uh, we've hit this high over here now into the highs of the day the market okay has to be putting in higher demand but instead okay what do you see okay uh caught okay which is very negative 4975 so this again is telling you very very quickly that the market okay does not have new demand at these bars right so the best way okay to look at caught is one number over a bigger time frame telling you okay what the market is doing now in looking at the smaller time frame let's say okay i'm looking at uh, the, the 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 three minute okay bar chart over here try to keep the focus away okay from every single bar and look at the cot as a sequence of numbers so if it's randomly plotting of 55 57 these are all very slow numbers but if these numbers okay start picking up up and down then you know okay that there is okay something big okay coming up in the market so try to look at a bigger number that will tell you quickly what the cot is doing right now we also have in this the open interest okay of the of the instrument and the doi is the developing open interest within the bar now this is extremely useful uh, if you are trading options you quickly can check what that instrument is doing in terms of open interest quickly so let's open open up a open interest chart and in a, open into let's open up a, an option chart and it could be anything okay on a, on uh, the open interest uh, to visualize the open interest any option chart okay you can look at and uh, this is a three minute chart and uh, you can see okay that the open interest is updating okay as we progress now you see this doi column okay this can immediately okay tell you okay whether the market is adding or reducing open interest in the bar the best way okay i like to look at if i'm looking for information specific to the open interest then um, i like to open up these uh, instruments in uh, in a uh, two window mode so i get to see the the instrument over here is uh, the 30 minute time frame and i'm looking at a 3 minute time frame over here uh, has to be the similar one so 
So this is a three minute time frame and you can see okay that this uh, open interest okay was was rising till it started dropping okay into this bar and you can monitor this across a three minute time frame to see what exactly is happening. So this is very useful okay especially on a settlement day or Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday wherever the settlement is uh, you could okay pick up an option chart and quickly okay visualize okay whether the open interest is dropping or falling and at the same time okay look at the buying and selling happening through the order flow chart.